In this video I'm going to tell how to model this in Blender. I like to share something, in my Gumroad page you can buy my products, you can buy this product in CG Trader. I'm working as freelancer, if you need interior scene, or 3 assets, you can contact me in Fiverr I will model it. Before you begin modeling, in edit, preference, make sure to enable the Rigify add-on. To start, press Shift plus A, Armature, and choose Human from the options. Now that we have the human armature, we can use it as a reference for height, to model the desks, chairs, and other items in the classroom. Adjust the scale by pressing S and entering 0.3, then press SZ and enter 0.2 to reduce in the Z axis. Next, press SY and enter 0.8, then position the cube accordingly. Insert this face, extrude it inside, next, apply a bevel modifier, raise the number of segments 4, and decrease the value. To duplicate the face, use the shortcut Shift D, then right click to position it, and slightly adjust the scale before extruding it upwards. In object mode, press 7 to switch to top view, then select the cube and press Shift S, cursor to select it. Add a cylinder, and in the pop-up menu reduce the number of vertices to 16. Switch to wireframe mode and decrease the scale completely. Move the object to the corner of the desk. Press 3 for a side view, adjust the position slightly downwards, then select a vertex and move it down to a specific location. Duplicate the vertex and place it in a new position. Select all vertices, press Shift E, and choose to bridge edge loops with an increased number of cuts. Extrude a vertex to a certain point, then duplicate it, move it elsewhere, and rotate as needed. Once again, bridge edge loops, increase number of cuts, add mirror modifier to the cylinder, enable clipping, and finally extrude a vertex. Use the shortcut Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier at level 2. Add a loop cut and adjust its position downwards, select these faces, and pressing Alt E, extrude along normals. In wireframe mode, select certain edges by holding Alt and Shift. Press Shift E1 on the numpad to add creases to these selected edges. Duplicate a set of vertices, move them to a new location, adjust slightly, and move them along the X axis. Move certain vertices inside and make adjustments as needed. Select a group of vertices and extend the selection by pressing Ctrl plus. Duplicate this selection, move it to a different position, and adjust it along the x-axis. Move specific vertices inside and make further adjustments. Now duplicate these vertex move it here. Press P selection to separate it. Move these vertex down, duplicate and move it here, then rotate it. Select these vertex, bridge edge loops, increase number of cut 6. Extrude it up to here, then once again, duplicate these vertex move it here, rotate it, and bridge edge loops, then extrude these vertex upwards. Duplicate these vertex move it here, and rotate it. Bridge edge loops to those vertex. Extrude these vertex in X axis. Select these faces. Duplicate it and move it up. Then move it in X axis, then extrude these edges down. And once again extrude it to down twice. Then extrude these faces alone normals. Select these edges, add crease. Now select these vertex, slightly move and rotate it. After that bring plane, place it here, and reduce the size, then extrude it, press Ctrl 4 to add subdivision modifier level 4. Then add some loop cuts to all the edges. After that adjust the scale if you want. Now duplicate this cube, move it up, rotate it, and place it here. After that bring cube, then in object properties, change display as texture to wire. Adjust the scale up to the desk and chair. Now select the desk and chair, then select the cube, press Ctrl P, set object, in this cube select the bottom faces, bring the cursor to the selected, in object mode, right click set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now if you scale this cube, see it looks like good. Choose all of these items, press the, M, collection, and name the collection, desk. Next, add a cube. Move it before, decrease the size on the Y axis, 
decrease slightly scale in x-axis on the x-axis and z-axis. Add two loop cuts to this cube. Instead of pressing I once to insert the face, press it twice to insert faces individually. Extrude inside those faces. Add a bevel modifier. Increase the number of segments to 4 and decrease the amount to 0.0014. Make a duplicate of this face and move it here. Then separate it this face. Extrude this face upwards to a certain point. Move one side of the face inside slightly. Add two loop cuts. Insert those three faces. Then extrude them inward. Now, add an array modifier. Increase the count value to 12. All students will be able to store their books and bags on these shelves. Afterward, duplicate the shelf and position it to the last. We have to duplicate the desk and position it, but doing so will raise the vertex count. To avoid this, we will utilize the instance method. If you are unfamiliar with this technique, it can greatly benefit your project. The purpose of using instances is to replicate geometry and save it in an object without duplicating the data itself, therefore not increasing the number of vertices. To start this process, make sure the object is positioned at the world origin. If it's not, I will inform you of the consequences. Press Shift plus A, Collection Instance, then click on the desk. We have desk and the vertex count is remain same. You can't edit this objects. It will take this empty as origin, so if you scale it you can see the desk is moving so far while scaling. To resolve this, press Shift plus S cursor to the world origin. Select the desk cube and press Shift plus S selection to the cursor. Now, select the instance of the desk and confirm that it can be scaled properly without issue. In the top view, position the desk instance as needed, duplicate it by pressing Shift plus D, move the duplicate to another location, and then press Shift plus R to repeat the duplication action. Adjust the spacing between each desk accordingly. Once that is done, duplicate the desks again, move them to a different spot, and repeat the action with Shift plus R. Now it is necessary for us to include a classroom. Bring a plane. Move a plane here and increase its size to cover all objects. Next, choose this edge and extrude it slightly. After that, select all the outer edges and extrude them upwards to this point, I believe this is sufficient. Then, insert a loop cut and connect the two faces. Regarding the doors and windows, I will not model them as it will be time consuming, but we can use the free add-on in Blender. Activate the Archimesh add-on. Under the Add menu, go to Mesh and select Archimesh to access more objects, then choose a door. Now that we have the door, place it here and adjust its rotation. Make a copy of the door and position it accordingly. Return to Archimesh, add a window. Bring the window to the desired location, adjust its rotation, duplicate it, and make slight adjustments. Repeat the process of duplicating and moving the windows as needed. Afterwards, include some loop cuts in this manner. Next, remove these faces. Similarly, for the window side, also insert some loop cuts and remove them. Now, we need to add a board to our classroom, so bring in a plane. Rotate the plane to the desired position. Adjust the scale of the plane along the axis. Use the shortcut Ctrl 4 to add a subdivision modifier at level 4. Next, create two loop cuts in this area. Add two loop cuts on the other side as well and adjust the scale. Now, extrude these faces outward. Then, select the front faces, move them slightly inward, and extrude them. Select the edges, and use the shortcut Shift E1 on the numpad to add crease. If needed, scale these edges accordingly. To fill the top, select the two edges and press F to fill, repeat the same for the other edge to automatically fill in faces. Now, the high school classroom modeling is complete. It's time to add some color to it. Now go to Shader Editor. Then switch the view to Material Preview for now. After creating materials, we will switch to Render View at last. Make sure you enabled Node Wrangler add-on. For Desk, select Principled Node Hold Control Shift T, then go to this wood folder, and select these four Texture, Base Color Roughness Normal and Displacement Bring It. 
Reduce the displacement scale 0.002. Increase mapping scale 5. Then click this material icon, drag and place it to the chair, it will assign to those objects. Select the desk, in edit mode click U, smart UV project, do the same process that the chair wood object also. Select this cylinder, rename it metal. Then make the color little grayish, increase metallic value 1, reduce roughness slightly, bring noise texture, select noise texture press Ctrl T, to add texture coordinate and mapping now connect object to mapping. Connect the noise factor to normal, in add menu bring bump node and connect it. Connect noise factor to bump height, reduce bump strength 0.067, increase the noise scale 20, detail value 15. Now click and drag this material icon to this object also. Now select the building, in drop down menu select the metal material. Click this icon to make duplicate. Now press Ctrl Shift D, to duplicate this noise texture while connecting with mapping vector, connect this to base color. Reduce noise scale 0.4, increase roughness 1. Reduce the metallic value 0. Increase the roughness value 1. In add menu bring color ramp, make the black color to white not full white. Duplicate this bump node place it here, then connect this noise texture factor to connect this bump height. Select these shelf, select the building material, and click this icon to make it duplicate. Now in noise texture reduce scale value 0.200, reduce the roughness value 0.700, then just adjust the color ramp value like bring it down slightly. Now select these two shelf and select this one last, press Ctrl L, click link materials to add same material to the selected objects. Now select these faces in the building. In shader editor, click plus, click new to create new material, click assign to assign these faces to these new material. Then bring the wood textures, I'm selecting this wood texture folder, and adding these textures. Reduce the displacement scale value 0.010, increase the mapping scale value 5, then rotate the texture, in Z change value 90, in add menu, bring RGB curves, place it, click just and drag it up, then in edit mode, do smart UV project to UV unwrap classroom. Likewise, again add new material for this building, add this face to that material. Then bring this wood textures, these textures will be floor to this classroom. Reduce the displacement scale 0.010, and increase the mapping scale 5, the increase rotation of Z90. Now select the door, and in drop down menu, select this material, that we used for the classroom. Now just click this drag it down to reduce the brightness. After that reduce mapping scale 3. Assign the same material to this one also. Then do the smart UV project to UV unwrap the door. Then add the same material to this door border, and then UV unwrap this one also. Likewise, add the same wood door material to this door and this door border, and UV unwrap it, and select the door handle. In drop down menu, select the metal materials, that we created before for the desk. Finally select the window, and in drop down menu, select the shelf material. Then add new material, select this face and assign to new material. Delete this node, then in add menu bring glossy BSDF, then transparent BSDF, and mix shader node. Connect these two nodes to the mix shader. Decrease the value 0.100. Select all the windows, at last select the window that we added material, press Ctrl L, click link materials. Now go into edit mode and add this face to this material. Likewise do the same process to all each windows. Then select the board, add metal materials in the drop down menu. Now only I'm noticing something, this bump is not looking good, so increase the scale value 100, and increase the roughness value 1. And for the classroom wall material also, change the noise texture value for the bump. Then add new material. Select this face and assign it to this new material. Select principled nodes press Ctrl T. Now bring the green board images, I have provided this image link in the description. 
Then switch to UV unwrap and then just scale it and just the faces. Now it's time place the camera. I think this view is perfect to place camera. Hold Ctrl Shift 0 in numpad, then in right side panel, enable camera to view, now you can adjust the camera perspective. If you want you can add notice board here, and add clock here, or put some books in all desk. If we do all the things I said now, the video time will increase more, but you can try it. Switch the window to render view. In render settings change render engine cycles. In world properties, click yellow dot, choose sky texture. Change the values, sun elevation 15, sun rotation 69. Reduce strength value 0.700. There is no light pass through the window, that because of this cube, you can just hide it like this. Then for the desk, select the cube and you can hide it, and hide the icon for render also. Go to render properties reduce the samples 128. In performance, final render enable persistent data. Now render it. Now we have successfully completed high school classroom modeling it looks good. I hope this video helps you to learn something new. Subscribe to my channel to learn more in Blender.